Hi everyone, my name is Jyoti and I'm a graduate researcher at the Mango Lab in the School of Pharmacy at USC. And today I'm going to give you a very quick overview on the code and data availability in biomedical research. I'd like to start off with one of the most important questions. Why is sharing code and data important? Sharing code and data is important because it can improve reproducibility, efficiency, enhance robustness of biomedical research, and most importantly, it can be used in secondary analysis. And across all disciplines, since projects are becoming more and more computationally intensive every day, this transparency will enable us to manage, structure, and carry out the more computational aspects of our project, especially in bioinformatics. And NIH is even NIH guidelines on principles and guidelines for reporting preclinical research even recommends that journals require all of the data supporting a paper's conclusion must be made available as a part of the review process. And after publication, these data sets must be deposited on public repositories. Some of the publishers, such as Nature, PLOS, etc., have implemented these data sharing requirements. But the main question that arises is, what can we do as a community that is actionable? Is it possible to develop procedures to ensure transparency and reproducibility? And who would be responsible for enforcing this change? Individual researchers, journals, and yes, many journals have mandated data and code requirement, and we will see this in our results. More people do share raw data. But what roles should institutions play? Should there be a university-wide open science policy? These are some of the questions we need to think about. We reviewed the analytical code and data availability of in 10 different biomedical journals across 200 papers published between 2016 and 2020. And our results indicate that across these papers, 98.5% of the papers are accompanied with raw data. And sharing data on the right repository is important as well. And we found that the data used for analysis was shared most abundantly on GEO and SRA and other repositories constituted around 15.7% and 7.6% were shared across multiple repositories. But this brings us to another question, is sharing data enough? Because for any raw data to be consequential, data analysis is required. And this often entails a certain amount of code being written or used. So looking at the code availability or analytical code availability across these 200 papers, our, uh, we can see that only 12% of these papers share code used for analysis, which means a majority of them were not accompanied by code. So first of all, fundamentally, the code must be findable and accessible to be reused for analysis. And in our study, we considered code to be easily findable if the article included a code and or, or a data availability statement. And among the 12% of the articles that did share analytical code, 25% of the articles had both an exclusive statement and code availability. Otherwise, it was mostly stated either in the main text of the manuscript, the data availability statement, and in some instances in the results, a supplementary section. What I'm trying to say is not stating the code availability explicitly makes it unclear and is not easily findable or accessible to the reader. And of the 12% of the papers that did share code, majority of it was found to be archived on GitHub. But some of the questions that still need to be answered are, why do these differences occur? Is there a mandate for code sharing in all journals? Should GitHub or any other open source repository be mandated for all code to be shared? But platforms such as GitHub do not accept large files. And in principle, is it okay to rely on commercial platforms? Um, how reliable are commercial repositories? We think it's a good idea, but then these open source repositories and URLs are likely non-permanent. We don't know what the long-term implications may be. Some of the studies that have even been conducted indicate that surely, despite there being an improvement, a vast majority of the links are unreachable or broken links. To understand why differences occur and whether journals mandate code sharing or not, we looked into the code sharing policies of these journals and we found that 40% of the journals mandate code sharing, 50% of them encourage or mandate code sharing, but there still exist two main ambiguities in data and code sharing policies. Firstly, some journals mention that all underlying data used for analysis and or all the supporting data must be made available. It's unclear whether supporting data and underlying data used for analysis includes only raw data or raw data along with software source code algorithms and analytical code. And secondly, those journals that have mandatory or encouraged code sharing policies, journals only state that sharing software source code or custom code is necessary. It is unclear if the policy includes all analytical code must be made available. But 
Has code availability improved substantially over the years? Yes, it has. And, but there is still a long way to go. And we also observe that articles that share code exhibit an increased number of citations compared with papers that do not share code. So for those research papers that do share code, there is no consensus on who the authority will be to verify and ensure that the code shared is usable and reproducible. Because normally when code and data is shared, can one install the same pipeline with the exact same dependencies and make sure it produces the same output? This sounds like a trivial question, but many studies have actually uh, been conducted which indicate that this is not it's not very easy to achieve this. So in conclusion, I'd like to say that we as a community need to develop and adopt the best practices to address the problem of accessibility of code and data shared and reproducibility. And this will foster scientific progress across a variety of biomedical disciplines. Thank you.